on this jet ski um, loading ramp system just to kind of give you an idea what it's like the bar that I actually have in the back of this truck is too short because if you looked at the picture I posted online that bar was actually set up for a, a uh, skinnier bed which was in the back of his Chevy Avalanche but I have another bar out there that I'll show you but basically this is a ramp I think uh, you can get at Harbor Freight um, <clears throat> this is a hinge bracket technically this is about underwater so I normally the water line is about right around this area these wheels you can get at Harbor Freight they still make them today uh, I used this to load up a blaster and a super jet. Loaded it up real easy, it was perfect. That's just hydro turf on the bars. Um, so it wouldn't scrape at all. And there are... Uh, obviously you can see that there's five wheels on each side. Um, those wheels are not real expensive. I think they're about four bucks a piece. Uh, up here... You can see a little kind of a tab of just it looks like some metal that they use as a bracket to sit on there and so then the jet ski would come up here sit up onto this this because I have a new bed or actually a new truck so this system was um, actually a little bit more configured towards my my old Chevy Avalanche um, these are just it's just you know sheet metal or whatever you want to use to hold these things together I'll take some detailed pics um, that's like a little L bracket, which I actually need to trim off a little bit if I was going to keep it to wedge down into the bed right there so this doesn't move. Basically, it would just sit in there, but this truck is different from my old truck where this gap was actually a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> so it sit down in there a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> basically, you just use a tie down strap to keep this from going anywhere. So I'm pulling on it now and it won't move because obviously the strap is held onto the back of the uh, <clears throat> the hitch on the truck. <clears throat> if we get in the truck, all it is is a winch system <clears throat> with just basically a ratchet type uh, wrench. And it just sits on the bar. It's just that simple on a L bracket. Sits on there like that and it actually works really great. You just hook it onto the jet ski, winch the darn thing up. I'm just doing a quick video just to show you real quick how this thing works. This is one inch EMT. Boom, right there. <clears throat> so this piece that I actually have in my hand is the correct width for a regular full-size Chevy bed. You know, if you were doing a, a full-size versus a Chevy Avalanche, they're really skinny. Anyway, and then all I did was get these clevis type deals. These you can get at... Uh, almost any hardware store. I went to Ace Hardware. They're about eight bucks a pop, I think. One on each side. Um, basically, I just smashed it down um, on each side with a hammer and then just put a bolt through it. Real simple. This this part here is probably only about 25 bucks for total material. The winch, that'll probably be your most expensive thing because these things are what, you know, $35, $40 for that whole setup. EMT is about, you know, oh, what, five, six bucks. A couple pieces of uh, two by four. <clears throat> so other than that as you can see it, it, it's a really cool design system I don't I don't need it anymore um, which is why I'm getting rid of it <clears throat> anyway that's what it looks like fully set up and that's in the back of a long bed or not a long bed but a short bed a six foot uh, 6.6 .6 box um, I had it set up for my Chevy Avalanche so if I was gonna keep it I'd probably modify it a little bit, just adjust it, obviously, the little hook bracket. And uh, obviously, I, I would, uh, you know, put the clevises into the other EMT bar that I have up there. Um, so, other than that, I'm not exactly sure how the guy made this. These are just... I don't know. I can take some measurements of all that stuff just to kind of give you guys an idea. But I'll post this up, too, so you guys can look. Um, look at kind of the measurements of everything. Anyway, hope this helps you out. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, let me know if you have questions.